हेलो एवरीवन आई एम महेश यादव जोनल हेड ऑफ एल एन करियर इंस्टीट्यूट साउथ इंडिया सेंटर्स एंड टुडे एज वी ऑल नो दैट जेई एडवांस 2024 रिजल्ट इज आउट एंड द बेस्ट पार्ट दैट वी हैव गॉट द बेस्ट रिजल्ट फ्रॉम द एल एन बेंगलुरु एंड वी हैव गॉट फाइव स्टूडेंट इन टॉप हंड्रेड एट स्टूडेंट इन टॉप वन एंड इफ आई टॉक टॉप फोर्टी देन वी हैव गॉट फोर स्टूडेंट एंड दैट टू द कर्नाटका स्टेट टॉपर with the all india rank 15 is also there with the allen bangalore so i would say this time is the bestest result of allen bangalore in jee advance as every year we are increasing in the result i think this time we thought and we got this result so with the students whom we got this result uh, they are there with me i am going to ask a few questions from all of them just to ha have a idea that what they have done in their preparation so that the upcoming student who is oh, they are coming in the upcoming years they these questions and their answers would help for those student just to prepare like that so that our result in top 100 would increase in year on year so first of all congratulations to all my stars and i am going to ask few question from you so i'll start first question from shon thomas so shon because in this preparation this is not one day or two days preparation this preparation is a journey of two years uh, nowadays uh, it's a very big problem with every student that how to come out from the mobile phone from the social media from all those things so there is a important thing that we need to control this otherwise we cannot focus on our study if we are preparing for the iit mains and advanced examination so my question is from you because you get uh, you got all india rank 15 and you are the karnataka state topper so what you did just to manage this social media and utilization of your phone so hello my name is shan thomas uh, koshi i have secured an all india rank of 15 in je advance and karnataka state topper uh as for social media i mean social media is like it it was invented for a reason so it it has some use but nowadays if if effectively you you are addicted to it then that can cause a problem now social media i i use that I, even in my je journey i did use that a lot because it, to uh, give doubts and discuss among people who you cannot effectively meet on person at that time so on whatsapp and stuff discussions a lot of discussions happened and i learned a lot from there but it cannot be a distraction as such like if you have it open at all time so if you're getting notifications stuff like that that can distract you from your main focus and effectively break your flow of thought completely and that like social media as a thing is not that bad but you need to very heavily control it you have to give like limited time slots effectively on when to use social media and use it productively and without those time slots don't have notifications don't you nobody should be able to contact you through social media basically you should not have the capability of being distracted and when you're on social media be on social media properly and discuss like i discussed a lot of my doubts and had and cleared a lot of misconceptions through social media so that would be my advice i guess now oh, so it's important what he said is that if we are using social media for our purpose i think it is a good but if you are addicted and we are excessively then definitely this will start controlling our not we are controlling that so my next question from sagar what did you de, uh, means how did you manage your studies after your je mains examination to je advance means what was the change in your uh, pattern or uh, what you started doing some extra things or right from the starting of 11th and 12th you were doing the preparation up to the advance level means main, this is the basic question from all of the students then what should we do because they have to write the board examination then they have to write the je mains examination then followed by the je advance so what what should be uh, the strategy for this preparation what you did in that uh, i am sagar i have secured ar 30 in je advanced well uh, i would say uh, until je main the preparation is of one kind and from je main to je advance it's of a different kind because uh, j advance it's much more conceptually tougher as compared to j main so what i did was um i solved more questions and like my teachers gave me a lot of sheets a lot of uh, workbooks i solved all those and 
basically just made my concepts that much stronger because no, it may not have been as necessary for JE main, but for JE advanced, definitely your concepts need to be your number one priority. You need to really focus in that span of uh, three, four months. You need to really focus on your concepts, focus on, work on building your concepts. You shouldn't leave any gap in your concepts such that you can perform your maximum in JE advanced. Yeah. So your preparation has to be uh, up to the advanced level right from starting. It is not that last minute or last moment you are going to start doing something and then all of a sudden it will be changed. Right. Okay. Fine. Okay. So my next question from the Vidip. Uh, Vidip, I wanted to know that during this preparation, uh, do you feel that continuous study for these two years? Or apart from this study academic part, basically, you feel that there should be some non-academic thing related to your interest like piano or guitar or some physical activity, maybe it can be basketball or something that is needed or how, how did you manage all those things? My name is uh, Vidi Prani Jayapali. I have secured an All India rank of 36 in J Advanced. So for this question, I would say, yeah, it is required. It's of course required because Two years of only studying, that'll kill you mentally. Like even though you love studying, which I do, it it's gonna like kill you mentally. You can't do anything you love like for like two years continuously. So in 11th, I was very chill actually. I used to go to my school, I used to enjoy in my school. And in 12th also, like I used to keep some break days and I used to play a little bit of piano. And I made sure I always had something to do. So like during 11th and 12th, I was, not like fully 100% focused, I would say. I was most like always keeping some kind of hobby or some kind of, you know, free time thingy which can make me relaxed. Just the last two, three months, I focused a lot. I only diverted my attention to studies because according to me, uh, so uh, to prevent silly mistakes and stuff like that, a certain discipline is required. But that discipline cannot be maintained for two years. So you can always have some backtrack hobby for throughout your prep. Don't let it take too much time, like one hour or one and a half hour per day is okay. But during the last two, three months, you need to be extremely focused on what you're doing. That's what I would say. So your two years, try to like have any back during like what, hobby and any interest, some free time. But last two, three months, cut them, them and have a certain discipline. That'll help. No. So it's important because apart from the academic, uh, it's not one day, two day journey, as we said, you have to have your hobbies live along with you. Because this is what the exam, it is nothing like. But in your preparation, your comfortness has to happen throughout the two years. Then only will be able to get the readiness till the for the final examination. So my next question is from my next star, Sai Navneet. Uh, Sai, uh, I wanted to know because this is a very big confusion among all the students who is going to write the examination that what should be the strategy for attempting the paper in final examination because somebody is liking physics, somebody is chemistry or maths because somebody is guiding something somewhere else, somebody else guiding something else. So what do you feel that what should be your strategy in the examination and how did you attempt at that? Hello, I'm Sai Navneet and I have secured All India rank 115. Uh, firstly, I feel that your paper attempting strategy is uh, something that you should decide based on attempting multiple mock papers. Personally, I used to solve chemistry section first so I could build up some momentum. And then after that, I used to solve the easy questions of mathematics and then move on to physics and then come back for the tougher questions of mathematics. But uh, every individual should try and develop their own strategy and see what helps them secure the most amount of marks. Okay, so I'll add one more question here only that whatever strategies you just applied for yourself, this was the strategy which you attempted first time when you started your 11th journey or with the time of uh, writing the test, you got to know that I have to do like this. Uh, I definitely changed my strategy uh, during my preparation. Sometimes I used to uh, chemistry, maths, physics, then physics, chemistry, maths. Um, and in the end, I found that my personal strategy helped me the most. Okay. So that means uh, this is a very important point because when you are starting your journey by 11th class from 11th class, then every three week when you are writing the test, you are understanding in what way you can give your best. Then accordingly, you have to take the final decision, not by taking the input from anybody else. Right. Yeah. So my next question from my next star is that uh, 
means definitely we are preparing for advanced examination and we did best here in the exam uh, what what was your uh, means input when you were writing the board examination right because when we are in the 12th class the board examination pressure is equally there with every student right and they also feel that the score should not be 90% and below so what was your strategies before 15 days of your board examination and then after for j mains and j advanced examination my name is kartikeya sriram varnasi i secured an all india rank of 146 in j advanced 2024 Uh, all the lot of students take pressure for uh, 12th board exams uh, thinking that they might not get 90% plus and it's if they don't get good marks in board exam how can they be confident that they'll get good marks in je mains or advanced i would like to say that all these fears are uh, uh, baseless just 3 4 days before the board exam you can pick up any reference book and read through the material and you can comfortably cross 90% plus all the friends in that i have in allen have done the same and uh, if you are thorough with the material you are sure to get 90% plus and if you have done your preparation well for j mains and advanced your physics chemistry maths is already manageable you most likely would not need to read a reference book for that at all yeah my next question from my next hour prabhu is that uh, during this journey definitely uh, there would be some time less marks in the advanced paper some time more marks so depression i would say or demotivation i would say it definitely it would be there with every student it is there with every student when it came to your part how did you motivated yourself till the examination of advance hello my name is prabhat sunna and i secured an all india rank of 116 in j advance um my answer to this question is that there will always be ups and downs that you can't prevent that and uh, we should always be, uh, have perseverance uh, because hard there is no substitute to hard work and when there is if there is a an up then you should uh, learn from that result and see how much you can improve and if there's a down then maybe you should see what went wrong and uh, eradicate that mistake completely uh, it is uh, the depression can happen to many students and happens to a lot of them but uh, to fight that you, you just need to believe in yourself and just remember the hard work that you your teachers and your parents are putting in mm so it's a important thing because motivating yourself till the examination is utmost priority because at any point of time if we demotivated or depressed or anything which we would say then then our ultimate goal becomes uh, disturbed so it's important that first we have to keep ourselves motivated if we are not able to do it then definitely we should discuss our parents we should discuss our mentors definitely they know how to motivate and how to show the path for going to the next step so my final star uh, and final question from anshul yes there was a journey there is a journey actually you prepared for this but one thing i know about you that you have a younger sister and you love her like anything right and uh, we ask you to come out from the home and you stay with our uh, hostel uh, how did you manage just this separation and you motivated yourself for this entire journey of preparation i would say Hello my name is Anshul I secured an all india rank of 37 in J advanced so with regards to this question like it's obviously very difficult at first like obviously you miss your parents and sister but over time you have to find new things and essentially like you have to you have to adapt to the new situation i think that's what's what's most important okay so so, so uh, did uh, did uh, your group of student were staying along with you huh. that is what Yes. your uh, hostel mat essentially yes <laughs> i gained a lot of support from my peer group and yes it was it was a very fun experience overall like i learned a lot of new things and yeah okay so uh, important thing because yes uh, staying away from the parents uh, is really difficult but at the end once you will be there in your uh, iit college definitely you have to be uh, away only from the parent but yes at the age of 11th and 12th it's really difficult but these students really did the lot many sacrifices their parents have done lot lot many sacrifices after that they are sitting here and they achieve this much rank and result i wish you all the very best for your future may you become a good citizen of this country 
you give your best for yourself for your family and for this country thank you so much love you all